Ladies and gentlemen, this is the King Ranch. Oh. This is a, it's six kilometers long and it's on the way to Corona Airport and it, they grow cows, they raise cows, cattle. And there's a bull doing his thing in the background there. I don't know if I'm allowed to put that in the video, so I didn't videotape it. So, yeah, this is what that bridge does. It keeps the cattle from crossing the bridge. There was a wooden bridge back there. I'm going, why did they make a bridge out of wood like that? So the King Ranch is six kilometers in length, and you have to pass through the King Ranch on the way to Caron Airport, Victor. And they grow, ho they raise horses, cows, cattle. Carabao. Carabao? Yes. Where we're going to see Carabao on the hunt, maybe? No. The lake. No, uh, on Osaka? No. On the mount. He said they're in the mountains, the Carabao. Wow. That would have been something to see. The Carabao phone. Yeah, the Philippines is an amazing place. So we're on our way to Corona Airport now. This will be the Corona Airport video one, probably of two, possibly three parts. Okay, we are at uh, Air Asia. This is Manila. I'm headed to Dumaguete. Back. I cannot fly. No. What are you? Eighteen. Alpha. Uh, can I? No, I cannot fly. Okay. Uh. Sun is full of haze. One time. Hello, eighteen Alpha. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Twenty nine. 25, 21, 19, 18 alpha. <coughs> I have gotten a window seat for the last six flights. <laughs> That's amazing. Without asking for it. Okay, you wait there. Oh, sorry. Oh. Alpha. Leather sheets or well, vinyl leather. They don't need any more papers anymore. I handed that receipt. They have these receipts for your boarding pass and it's perforated. And I would say that Solomon uh, Solomon. Yeah, well I was just talking about that. It's perforated and you hand it to people. Well first you get it from the chaos, you put it away. Then you hand it to probably you hand it to the x-ray man at the, to get over there, then you hand it to the x-ray man to get over there. And then about a dozen people ask you for it. 
so that you don't miss your flight if you're not paying attention the stewardesses or the hostesses will come up and ask you for your receipt so you have to be careful because by the time you get to the plane I would say 15 people or more touch your boarding pass and I lost the stub for the boarding pass <laughs> but the girl was really nice about that she put me right at the front of the head the front of the uh, they know I have been here since last night waiting for the flight and if you know that the funny thing is the the seat number is on both both halves of the boarding pass but the funny thing is you can't get you can't even get I was at the final gate to get on the plane and the, couldn't find the stub uh, I gave it to two different ticket agents when I gave my bags because apparently the um, the first person I gave it to a woman and a man just cut ahead of me and put their bags on the scale before I got a chance to put my bags on the scale. So I asked her for it back and then I waited for another lady. It was probably 15 times people touch your body. Bag. So I would suggest you put it in to a plastic bag or an envelope, which it was in, but I got tired of taking it in and out of the envelope, but now I see the benefits of an envelope. And this is Michael Fazio in the Philippines. Thanks for watching my videos. And uh, we're on our way to the next leg.